So the Great Overland Adventure has covered more than 30,000 kilometers at this point and these two cars are going strong. Now, the GL is a model nomenclature that Mercedes has dropped. It will now be GLS, remember. So the facelifted car has been launched as an all-new model, like what you saw with the ML class, which became the GLE. So the GLS also aims to make it more luxurious. Has Mercedes succeeded? Well, the car is ready for its launch in India. It has already begun production in the Pune plant. Take a look at the new GLS. When Mercedes-Benz decided to change the naming strategy for its vehicles about a year back, its logic was quite clear. To align its SUVs with its core sedan lineup. So the GLK became the GLC based on C-Class, the E-Class based ML became the GLE and with its latest offering, the GLS, Mercedes wants to position it as the S-Class among SUVs. The GLS replaces the GL SUV worldwide and it does get some major treatment. The front is where it gets the majority of the treatment. Uh, talking about the exteriors, Mercedes-Benz tried to give much more bolder and aggressive look as compared to the GL. It gets some nice muscular bonnet, the TriStar logo as well has been reworked and it's much more bigger and larger. The headlamp layout has been borrowed from the GLE and the GLE Coupe. We will also see the same headlamp cluster in the GLC when it arrives in India. The car takes on the likes of Range Rover, Volvo XC90 and the Audi Q7. With this, the premium SUV space in India has spiced up. On the exterior, apart from the aggressive front styling, one can see the changes in headlights which have been redesigned and now come with the signature multi-beam headlamps with DRLs. But it's the rear which gets the major revamp and sets it apart from its predecessor with a full LED tail lamp cluster and a more streamlined lower bumper. So the car now doesn't look as heavy. The seating capacity is still for 7 people. The spacious cabin gets a 3-spoke multifunction steering wheel covered in Napa leather. The multimedia display in the centre comes with Apple CarPlay and uses a huge 8-inch screen with an otherwise clean dash layout. The car has a boot space of 295 litres and with its diverse adjustment options, it can be extended to 2300 litres. The cabin is quiet and nice but as soon as you get behind the wheel, you can feel the difference with a massive 3.0-litre V6 engine churning out 258 HP with ample torque of 620 Nm mated to the 9G Tronic automatic transmission which really got us excited. Sadly enough, India gets only one diesel engine variant though we are expecting a more power-oriented variant, AMG GLS 63 to be launched sometime next year. Now the addition of the 9-speed gearbox instantly disconnects you from the thought that you are driving the GL. The GLS, the 9-speed gearbox is extremely refined, it's very smooth, it's very responsive and it's the same uh, gearbox which we'll be seeing in the GLC as well. The C250 has it and uh, slowly I think uh, all the cars in the Mercedes portfolio, at least the SUVs, will have the same 9G speed Tronic gearbox. GLS will be a good competition to the likes of the Audi Q7, BMW X5 and the Volvo XC90. But we don't expect the Mercedes-Benz to be aggressive with its pricing, which is expected to be around 85 lakh rupees.